So some exciting news just happened in the no-code community. Now, my name is Josiah. I'm a brand strategist and no-code designer. Now, for the past few years, I've been using Webflow. I love it. I transitioned fully. I'm a big proponent. I've tried to use it in, in every scenario I can. And Webflow has already been growing. Um, but there's also an increasing need for web apps. And you had other platforms like Bubble and everything come along. And if you are familiar with Webflow, you might have heard about the company FinSuite. Now, FinSuite is an awesome company and actually really deep diving into their content, what they do with their community, helped me like up my game with Webflow. Now, last year uh, in 2021, I did try a product called Wizd. Um, I was pronouncing it wrong the whole time. It was called Wizd. I was saying Wizd. So it, it's pronounced Wizd and it was an awesome product and I still loved it and used it, you know, in the scenarios that it made sense. Um, however, it was a version one. It was a little scrappy. So there were some bugs and some things that didn't work for every scenario. Um, however, still real great. Um, the founders are great people and I still supported the product and, and paid for it. Um, recently, uh, FinSuite just announced Wiz 2.0 and I say FinSuite because they bought uh, Wiz. Now, what does this mean for us? Now, with the purchase, with, with FinSuite purchasing Wiz, we have this product that is dedicated to Webflow to build web apps. And on top of that, they have FinSuite now backing them. And FinSuite has been releasing products consistently for the community and doing so in a really great job, really organized way and everything's really thought out and works really well. Now we take them doing really awesome stuff inside the community and placing that on WISED and now, or WISED, sorry, I keep saying it wrong. But now we have this product that is backed by even more developers and people with a company that has been focused on Webflow for such a long time. And, and I feel there's this level of polish and resources behind this, this product now that wasn't there before. That makes me even more excited for web apps and what's to come. Now, at the time of making this, I have not been able to play with WISD yet. Um, they are releasing slots at a very low rate um, or at a very slow rate. So some people have access and not a lot yet. Um, however, I was a version one user and I'm also a FinSuite Pro member. So I'm hoping to get my hands on this thing pretty soon to use version two. And I have a couple of projects already that are like in line to be able to use this that I would have used version one for. So I can't wait to test this thing out. But this is some really big news for the NoCode community and to be able to, to scale and build these web apps. Now, Wiz does have a pretty big learning curve. I did mention that in another video that I did about my favorite NoCode tools. It really does take some web, like JavaScript and web app knowledge to be able to create something really good. Um, it took me a while to be able to get to learn this because I don't come from a developer background and I still consider myself pretty technical, but it did take me a little bit to, for things to start to click. However, now this time around, they do have a lot of documentation and FinSuite is really good about providing documentation. So that's another big benefit of, of them taking over WISD. So I think a, a cool thing that this is doing is it's taking people who aren't traditional developers, don't really know, and it's teaching them these concepts for them to be able to be better, to be able to be more valuable in the marketplace, to be able to create things that they would normally be able to create. All the stuff that NoCo was already doing, but I think in a deeper level that Wiz is doing. And I think this is cool because other things like Bubble and stuff like that, they don't really have the true design freedom that I feel that Webflow has, that you can really create whatever, and, and you're marrying that now with web app capabilities. Now, I don't know how this is gonna you know, work once Webflow logic starts rolling out to the masses, um, and I imagine the way things work, they're not gonna be able to work hand in hand, right? Well, I take that back. I think Webflow logic will be able to take over some things, but if you have like your Webflow accounts or memberships, that's not going to work with Wiz. You either got to do one or the other. And there are pros and cons for each, right? If you're just looking for a simple membership website, you need to get some content, nothing too crazy, have a subscription, you don't need Wiz. You're probably not going to need Wiz. But if you need to build a marketplace, if you need to um, do some pretty crazy stuff, build like a social media um, website, tie in with databases, all this stuff, that's where Wiz is going to come in. So I'm pretty excited. I can't wait for, for this to come out and uh, for us to be able to use it and see what people create. Now, I'm gonna be making content on this as soon as I can, as soon as I get my hands on it, because I, again, I already have projects that are waiting to go ahead and use this thing. But that being said, sorry, I've been a little low on content recently. I've kind of had my head down working and trying to push projects over the finish line. 
which is kind of nicely lining up with some of the things that are kind of happening in the NoCode community for me to be able to create some more content around it. So I'm pretty excited. And actually, I'm going to be using Wiz to on a big uh, blockchain project that, uh, that I have that I can't say much about, but I'm going to see how it's going to work on there. And maybe if that works out, I can try to make something else a part of it to create content for it. Because I can't for that project, but I can at least let you know how it worked out. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, go ahead and check out wiz.com. Check out Friendsuite if you haven't. Um, I'm in a way affiliated with them. I just really enjoy what they put out and I use it a lot for my daily work and, and the work I do for clients. But with that being said, I'm gonna try to diversify the content a little bit more. I've been doing a lot of no code stuff. I'm gonna do a lot of branding work as well um, and also no code stuff here, here too. So you'll kind of get both. Just give me some feedback on the content I'm creating. Uh, let me know what you wanna see more of and and how I may be able to help y'all. And if I don't know, I'll, I'll learn it and show you in the video, hopefully. So thanks for watching again. See you in the next one.